Hey, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Effort of Community Church weekly podcast, a conversation with our pastors and leaders meant to continue encouraging you to know God, know freedom, know purpose, and make a difference. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a great week. It's always good to join with you on Wednesday, uh, right in the middle of the week, and just be able to wet, wish you uh, a good week. Hope it's going well. And I think we're all encouraged by uh, the great spring weather that we're having and uh, the opportunity for us to uh, see new life around us and see the green grass and maybe even have to mow the lawn a couple times because once is just not enough. So hope you're having a great springtime in that uh, um, this this spring and be encouraged by that. You know, um, this past weekend here at ECC, of course, we stepped into a new series that we've called Imagine Invisible Kingdoms. And it's help, help, hopefully helpful for us to understand that beyond all the natural things that we see, there's a whole spiritual world at work. And it's very, very significant. It's a very, very significant topic, so much so that we're going to be spending actually about eight weeks on this um, topic. Now, uh, part of that will be understanding uh, the spiritual dimension in general. And even this coming weekend, we'll begin talking about how it affects us personally so that's going to be a portion of it. But then the other part of that is going to be uh, a bit about uh, the Holy Spirit. And so um, we all want to be free from the enemy's influences in our life, but then we also want to be filled up. In other words, we don't want to be independent. We want to be free from the enemy's influences, but we want to be filled up and completely dependent on the Holy Spirit. And so I'm really looking forward to both portions of this series that we are going to be talking about, both the... Um, uh, understanding the spiritual influences around us, but man, just embracing the work of the Holy Spirit. And so I would encourage you just to kind of um, take some time to uh, meditate on that, consider it, consider the significance of it, even in preparation for what's going to be happening a little bit later on in the infilling of the Holy Spirit as we focus on that as well. So thanks, thanks for that, and thanks for the opportunity of actually teaching in this way. This past weekend, I would have concluded the message in Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, which I feel like is a great place of balance. And that's what we want to do, even as we walk through this entire uh, series. We want to have that place of balance where Jesus says, I'm sending you out as sheep among wolves, which is not a good sign. In other words, it's very dangerous. We have to be very alert. Um, if we're not alert, you know, it could actually cost us our lives. I send you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as innocent as a dove or harmless, depending on the translation, and as wise as a serpent, um, which is calculating. So we want to walk this balance of this tension between having an innocent heart, harmless heart, keeping our heart focused on the Lord, our desire ultimately is to know him and to, to love him and pursue him. And so we don't want to be consumed by suspicion or concerned about, um, um, you know, what kind of evil influencers are there. But then, so we want to pursue the Lord with a pure heart while being aware of those hindrances that are around us and being very calculated how we move. But we want God to, um, consume our attention and we want based upon what he desires in leading us to reveal to us the things that we need to see so that we can break through obstacles and pursue uh, him. Uh, this coming week, uh, we're stepping into something even a little bit more that might be new to a lot of people. I think this past weekend, while uh, the topic is throughout scripture, um, it's oftentimes not addressed. So for many people that are relatively new to Africa Community Church, this past weekend may have been maybe a little bit of a stretch uh, maybe made some people wonder, like, where's this going to go in the long term? And we're just going to continue to walk in balance in that. Um, this coming weekend, we're going to be talking about digging in a little bit more deeper and even a little bit more personal. And that's simply in this. To what degree does uh, the enemy, demonic forces, influence our lives personally? And as a Christian, can I expect absolute and complete protection and never have demonic influence in my life? Or is there ways in which, you know, either I, either passively or actively grant the enemy access to my life where he can influence me? And if that's the case, then how do I actually have remove, how do I remove that? And so over the course of the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to be walking down that path a little bit to help us understand uh, some things about that, how we come to ever increasing levels of freedom. So here's ultimately what I'm asking you to do in this. Uh, let the Holy Spirit guide you. Um, ultimately, 
um, open up your heart to uh, the work of the Holy Spirit, uh, open up your heart to those areas that might be a little bit more mystical when it comes to your Christian life, and um, just trust the Holy Spirit to lead you. I would ask you, even in advance of this coming weekend, is there any area of your life in which you feel like you just can't manage, um, master, can't, uh, where you feel like, man, I'm just kind of out of control in this area. And it's almost like to the point of being illogical. So let me give you an example. I mean, it could be a temper. It could be that, hey, just certain things push your buttons and man, you get angry. And when it's anger, it's a certain amount. And then what happens to people is when they think about something like that, they think, hey, that's just kind of how the way I am. I just happen to have an anger issue. Or it could be, um, you know, cycles of discouragement, or it could be that, man, you've got the best intention to build an active devotional life. But man, for whatever reason, even though it's as simple as could possibly be, you just can't seem to take the step to get there. So look at those areas of your life where you feel like you almost can't manage or can't control. And they may be areas of actually demonic influence that's actually holding you back in that way. And so one of the things that we're praying is, hey, we just want the enemy to be exposed. We want him to, uh, the enemy, just simply to be, like all the schemes that are there and so forth, just simply to be exposed because the only way he wins is to keep hidden. Because when those things are exposed, we recognize that we have the power of Jesus Christ, we have the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ that can help us overcome. But ultimately... Uh, the enemy has already lost the battle. So the more he can remain in hiding, the better opportunity he has to remain hidden and actually to manage us. And we don't want that to be the case. So I would encourage you um, just to submit yourself before the Lord and just open your heart for what he wants to do and accomplish through this time. And then I'd appreciate if you would pray for me. You know, I've got about 30, 35 minutes uh, this coming weekend to communicate significant truth. I feel that every weekend when I have the message is that I have limited time and, man, so much to communicate. Um, and that's part of my reliance upon the Holy Spirit, like only he can do what only he can do. And so I trust him to even customize the message for every single person that's hearing that, whether you're in the building or not, whether you're listening online or the podcast, and uh, really looking forward to what he can do in that. Uh, great stories of freedom that are already coming to the surface. I expect that we're going to see many many more. So we look forward to seeing you this coming weekend, Saturday at 6 o'clock, Sunday, 8.30 and 10.30. And also just kind of reminder, uh, this week you should have been receiving a letter in the mail. Uh, if you're a member of Effort of Community Church about uh, our nominations for two elders, Chris Weber and Floyd Zook. And if you didn't get that uh, by the time the week is out, it should be in the mail. Most people should be receiving it today or tomorrow at the latest. If Friday comes and you haven't received us, please let us know that so we can uh, make sure that you get one of those to you as well. Uh, prayerfully consider and respond to that. Um, look forward to adding to our elder team pending your approval. Hey, be blessed. Have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week, and we'll look forward to seeing you this weekend. Hey, thanks again for joining us today. We hope that you've been encouraged by listening and that you'll join us again next week. You can listen to previous episodes, find additional resources, and of course, learn more about us by visiting effortofcommunitychurch.com. Thank you.